we've got uh, three games, one early and a couple late for me right here on our on our radar screen. Um, my first one up is Lions oh. Bears. Yeah, nobody's talking about that. Oh my, nobody's talking about that. Nobody. Why am I talking about it? Well, one team has That's already it. got an interim head coach in the Lions. It, I'll tell you this, man. If Trubisky lays an egg against the Detroit Lions, who'd fire their coach and then come out with a win in Chicago, and Trubisky looks like garbage again, and that the fourth quarter in which the Packers defense basically said, we're stopping playing, we don't want anybody to get, get hurt, and suddenly the Bears ran up and down the field like a track meet, and that is for Gazy, that that really isn't something you can build off of. That's a major problem. Uh, the, then the Bears are five and seven. You're talking about a loss season that was once at five and one, six straight losses. Foles is the backup. I mean, uh, no answers anywhere around. That's a huge game. And I know Daryl Bevel said he was all jacked up. What are the Lions going to do, right, with their interim head coach? Will they be the third team with an interim head coach to turn things around like the Falcons and the Houston Texans have? That's one game. Nobody's talking about the Giants and the Steelers, uh, Seahawks, but I'll. If Chris, if I had told you that there's going to be a week 13 game on the docket between the leaders of the NFC West and the NFC East that no one would really be talking about. Oh, man. But that is the case. The Giants are leading the NFC East. The Seahawks are leading the NFC West. Well, yeah. It's Colt McCoy. And I know, you know <laughs> that these are all, this is fact. Okay. These are facts. It's Colt McCoy taking the Giants with a their first three-game win streak in years into – the uh, Pacific Northwest to try and beat a Seahawks team that might be overlooking them. And after this, though, if the Seahawks do what we're expecting them to do, and we see that, the next up for the for the Seattle Seahawks are the New York Jets. And then the Washington football team before they finish up with two division opponents, the Rams and the 49ers. This could be the beginning of the Seahawks trying to make a run for the one seed. So keep an eye on all that. Those are th- two of the three games. And then my third game that nobody's talking about, Who's talking about Rams and, and Cardinals? Seriously. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to talk about it in a I, second. I, I know that, but the, the Rams are, are currently your five seed. Yeah. The, the Cardinals are currently your seventh seed. Cardinals have lost three of four. They've lost their mojo. Larry Fitzgerald was just announced is not coming off the COVID-19 list. He will not be in this game. Jalen Ramsey will be squarely on DeAndre Hopkins. And is Kyler Murray just going to keep trying to throw it to him? He has to. It's time. I mean, I know Ramsey has been erasing people from DK Metcalf to you name it, but it's now DeAndre Hopkins standing uh, across from number 20 of the Los Angeles Rams. And will Kyler Murray be able to run away from number 99? Because if they don't, they're six and six. And here come the 49ers. Yeah, exactly. In that building next night against the Bills team. So keep an eye on all of that. And then on that Monday night, just kind of a bonus to keep your eye on. Will the 49ers do what I told their CEO, Jed York, to do? (laughs) Because they are in Arizona as the home team with full control of the stadium, which was confirmed by Jed York. They should play every different version and angle of the Hail Murray the minute that the Bills come out to try and warm up. And just basically say, don't look at us. This is the Arizona Cardinals stadium. We just hit play on what was in there. We didn't realize it until about two minutes in that it was the worst play of your nightmares, pretty much, of the 2020 season. <laughs> Keep an eye on all that. Those are my, those are all a bonus under the radar I love it, I love for, it. for week 13. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.